be the main thing that they need to do when they hire them. So I'm going to share a perfect system like that. That 70% of employees are disengaged at work. It hasn't changed. So hiring is so important today. And what I, one of the things I do is you do not hire based on title. Title is the worst thing, you know. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. You guys are watching and listening to Tech TV Podcast with Dr. Edwin Hernandez. In one episode of, of BMO Show and Pioneers Academy, where you learn to become a pioneer and a better entrepreneur with the teachings of BMO and his uh, Structure Academy teachings. How are you, BMO? Great. Thank you for having me here, Dr. Edwin. It's always a great pleasure. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all the listeners and pioneers. Great. And then this is a very important subject matter that we have today, which is uh, hiring, hiring and firing. So hiring is so important today. And basically, BMO has a structure on how to get that right people to work for your business. Why is so important that part, uh, BMO? It is the most important part of business. You can't build a business without a team and you can't have a great business without the right people in the right seats doing the right things and to give you the right results for the right pay. I mean, that is basically the job of the CEO is to get the right people in the right seats with the right results for the right pay. And, and if you don't get that right, every, nothing else matters. Nothing, you, you can have everything else and you know things will start falling apart because you don't have this. So hiring is the absolute core of, uh, you know, business. And if there's a four letter word that makes any business owner successful is H I R E. H I R E. And then someone has told me once that, uh, hiring the best team is your best decision. And that's something that sometimes I believe entrepreneurs fail to find because they've hired their friends. They hired their girlfriend. They hired people that has no value to their business. So how can they hire? What would be the main thing that they need to do when they hire the team? So I'm going to share a perfect system like that works all the time. It's a three-unit system because systems solve 99, 96% of the problems. You know, if you have structure, if you have a system, if you have proper organization, you can follow through the steps and, and do it right. So this is a three-unit system. And most of the people, you know, they answer your question, why they hire their friends, why they hire their family, why they hire, uh, you know, people they know is because one, they're desperate. They want to hire immediately. They want to start something. And two, uh, you know, it's the owner themselves making the hiring decision. So the CEO or the owner who is making or the entrepreneur who's the hiring usually in the interview or the discussion, they will be talking 90 percent of the time. And the other guy on the other side will be just saying, yes, 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 yes. And then the, the owner will say, you're hired. <laughs> so you, you, you want a yes sayer, you don't want a naysayer. So then uh, you hire the ones that are going to like cheer you up. And then I think that's when things start failing because I've seen a lot of entrepreneurs, they start with a team and then they hire the wrong accountant, they hire the wrong CEO, the wrong, the wrong uh, CTO, and things fall apart. And then what's the biggest mistake you have seen in your in your life uh, a, a span? Basically, you have like so many anecdotes. So the biggest mistake I the, the number one mistake I see is that they don't have clarity in really who they want to hire. You know, and, and it, it's it's like you think you you want to hire this person. You think you you know you need this title, but you haven't gone depth. So that's why I built a free tool, um, you know, a s system where you can get total clarity in avoiding this biggest mistake. And it's, you know, my dream employee. And you can put the link. Uh, and in that tool, you know, people can get clarity and really who they want to hire. Because in what you will discover, and this is what I went whenever any company has used this tool, they have told me one thing for common. And that is, I thought I wanted to hire this, but when I used the tool, I discovered I wanted to hire that. And, and it's a totally different uh, discovery. 
And, and that is one thing that, you know, I say that's one of the biggest mistakes, having clarity. And then there's the three unit, the before unit, the during unit, we can dive deep into it, and the after unit. So it's a, it's a full-blown structure that can help entrepreneurs, you know, get the right people in the right seats. So those entrepreneurs out there that are looking to hire someone right now, when they use your tool, then um, what would be the main thing that they will see in this tool to 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 enable them to do a better? So it's hiring? a it's a very comprehensive tool. It goes over like more than hundred questions, and and at six stages or six phases, and you take the time. So when you take the time at the front end, you save hours and millions of dollars of savings in the back end that you would lose because you know you discover in the front the ideal person that you want to hire. And what I one of the things I do is you do not hire based on title. Title is the worst thing. You know, you, let's say you think I need an office manager. I need an executive assistant. I need a C, like you were saying, I need a CEO. Maybe I need a CTO. But I would say just eliminate the title and just give the person a name. Like I need a Joe. I need James. Who is James? And start building the entire description of who James is and what James would do for you at this stage in your business, you know, and where you are. And when you write that out, we can come up with the title later. And that's the person you need to look for. So you need to concentrate on what will people do for you, know what the title looks like. Like it's not appearances. It's not just like, oh, I hire a COO. I hire a CTO. I hire a VP of engineering. Right. But more like I need them, someone to do A, B, C, D. That person fits James' role. That person fits John role based on the series. Exactly. Well, that's a very uh, uh, counterintuitive uh, uh, approach because a lot of teams are formed based on titles. And then you kind of like figure out that, okay, you're the CEO, you're the COO, then you're supposed to do X or Y. And ideally, like, how do you eliminate then those, let's say, bad candidates? Then when you have those, that choosing process, how do you so this, choose? The, the before unit is what eliminates probably 80 or 90% of the bad candidates. In the before unit, you know, you go through several stages, okay? And and here's, we, and I'll share the reality we live in today. You know, we have Indeed, we have ZipRecruiter, we have all these other platforms that we post ads and, you know, for applicants to come. Now, today, all of these platforms have an app OK, and on this app, you know, the the jobs come as the job, the pay and the button to apply. So right. people just go apply, 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 apply. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. I'm qualified from VP of engineering to director of sales and marketing. <laughs> right. And, and when you call these people and when you say they don't even know what they applied for. And, and so so what we do is in, in the before unit, you build automation that eliminates 80 to 90 percent of the candidates that are not suited for you, they're not ideal. So what you do is, you know, you put layers of automated responses okay. that if person does this, he gets an automated response. If they didn't, so people who go through those steps, go through those layers, go through those steps one after the other, they're the final ones who understand what you know who you really looking for. For example, there could be a survey, there could be a video. So people, you know, who actually go through the stages and discover, you know, and they give answers from their head. People, a lot of people lie on their resume. I'll be, I'll be honest, they're, they're, you know, there's not. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a lot of people say, like, for example, I've seen a guy came over here. He's like, I have a software engineering degree. And he was from one of those schools. And obviously he could, it was very limited what he could do. So then he was, he wasted his time for a week and then um, he couldn't do it. And then he, he moved to another job. I don't know where he went. But uh, one coming back to, 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 to the resume building position inside of the story and then um, and, and those qualifications, I've seen some founders, they do basically a very elaborate set of instructions. They want the person to do to be hired. That could be a test. That could be uh, filling out the application. So they will say, for example, in the application process, put three tabs before you write your answer. Very little subtle like instructions is that something that will identify a good candidate or, or that's nonsense? No, no. What I would what I recommend is in the, and my structure is very solid. It works. What, what you do is you identify key problems in your business that you have challenges that, you know, if you hired this person, 
you want this person to come in and solve those biggest pains and challenges or give you examples of things they have done in the past to how they have solved it. And, and three or four challenges that you know that you will face when you grow 2x, 5x, you know, in the future. Right. So you know that this person has the capability to come in and resolve some of your challenges today and has the capability to resolve some of your challenges in the future. And these answers can't come from anywhere else. It can only come from your head. It's right. your chat GPT won't even be able to answer these questions. Right. <laughs> so, right, right, right. So, so. Right. So this is something that that person has to sit in, think through, and answer the question. And and these are situation scenario based questions. You can't go wrong with these. So you don't necessarily have to nitpick on like a little uh, high school, let's say, level of questionings for for a tab or or, or space. In, in if you don't put two spaces, make sure that your answer includes uh, whatever keywords. That's um, that's that's not very useful. But in terms of uh, the candidate, let's say when you interview someone, do you believe like in those those uh, interview process like Microsoft or Google where they have a lot of puzzles, and they ask you like not they ask you technical questions, but they ask you a lot of puzzles, so you have to resolve like mind uh, mind uh, challenging problems. So what what you know that is good, but what before that there are certain stages. So this is where the before unit comes into play. The before unit, so we talked about you know like a survey. Then there is a video, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's a three minute video that you get to see is how the person is presenting themselves, how they talk, how they you know appear, and in all of that is important. The personality, the character, you get to know that person's character, their values, and all of that. And how person that person is excited? How does that person present himself or herself? And so when you when you have all of that, after that stage, when you interview, you have come to a stage where you have already realized a lot of different things. And in that interview, you know, you're looking for key expressions, key things, you know, all the other aspects that can only be done in face to face or when you're doing Zoom, you know that now these puzzles and all those are great critical thinking skills uh you can do that as a practical assignment and send it you know to them or or do that when they're presented if your job involves critical thinking correct 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 yeah so that's one of the things that that, that i think uh, um companies like google facebook apple they emphasize right i've been to their interview processes in, in microsoft and google and then they they want that that critical thinking mindset, but uh, in terms of uh, operations, let's say like uh, you have a, an operations company, how do you check? How do your company help people with background checks? For example, especially in Florida, even yesterday, I think people were making fun about like uh, in an event how a lot of, of there's a lot of fraud going on in Florida. So how can you validate the, t the degree? How can you validate the person is not going to be a thief? What can what kind of help do you offer any any help on that with with, with your services? So there, yeah, I have de developed um, a tool called a resume scorecard. Okay, and and you know you go through that tool, and if you score eighty or more, you know you you know that that resume has potential. And this is after the person has gone through all the different stages in the before unit, mm -hmm. and in the before unit, you know they have passed through several stages. Now this is why one of the things that people have to understand that hiring is a 24 seven job. It's a full time job. You cannot run a business where you think of it as I will do it when I need it. You have to do it all the time. Even if you don't need it, you should still be looking for candidates. And when I, when I work with companies, you know, I say all positions are open right now, including yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like in any restaurant, you see like, now, now hiring, like all the time, right? All uh, the time. You should be doing that. So you have a pool of candidates that you can reach out to when you need that. The reality is, and this is a study done by Gallup. You probably know this. For the last 26 years, right? this has been the same statistic that 70% of employees are disengaged at work. It hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. You know, it's still there. People are not happy at work. A lot of people, you know, so if you reach out to even people who are working and you had that in your pool right. that you interviewed before, there's good chance that person will come work for you if they liked you when you interviewed and they like what, 
they liked what you had to say and what you had to share and what they had to go through to get where you, you know they finally got to you um so that's that's very important so that's that's why i say you know hiring if you want to do get 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 a department get someone who does that full time for all positions and and that's the way to succeed you know in your hiring process if you do it when you need it you won't succeed um it you know it has to be full time and to answer to answer your question about you know going through background checks there are companies who do background checks you know there are companies who do all these different things that you can just pay a nominal fee and we also provide a recruitment service so you know we work as a headhunter we do that for the client so they don't have to do it and do you have any mastermind right now for hiring yes there's an a uh, hiring hcm mastermind you know hiring capital man human capital management uh, that's coming up uh, it's a 3 day mastermind next week following week and you pay for it you walk away with one hire that you know the the message so there are three principles that most entrepreneurs fail to incorporate in hiring and these are three fundamental principles of business and they don't think about these principles most people probably when i say it you probably won't think of it that's marketing innovation and sales and you may say what has marketing and sales have to do with hiring that's a totally different you know a function of business but marketing innovation and sales have everything to do with hiring so let me ask you one more thing, which is uh, we're running short on time, but you have a book number six coming up on right. May 16th. Right. So what is it all about? And um, tell us more about on, on that on the Academy. So, so I have all these five books here. You can see it. You know, these are a book series and it's all about becoming a pioneer. And book number six is making the biggest 90 day leap. Uh, and that is, you know, how I that's a foundation of success. I've achieved many things in life by doing that and following that system throughout my life is taking everything in 90 day leaps. And I'm training that in that book number six, and you will make the biggest 90 day leap. So if you, you know, want to work on the hiring, there's a process on how you can make the biggest leap, 90 day leap in the hiring aspect in your business. And it puts all the things you learned in books one through five, Right. together on one page there's a good thing there's even a one line plan and a one page plan so a lot of businesses when you're busy you don't have time you need like a quick plan <laughs> a quickie <laughs> a quickie right so there's a one line and these are called i call scale ready algorithms scale ready algorithms are you build an algorithm for your business that you you know you write it out and with that one line and i can tell you a quick story uh, a company that you know we it's a fulfillment by amazon e-commerce business they were in the lanyard business and they mm -hmm. went like 3x in one year um and and now they're up to like you know 10x uh, so and what we did is we had wednesdays as picture days we had uh, mondays as launch days and we had um, core values, the culture that we did. Um, and on one day, we would have a weekly meeting. And then then the one walkie talkies, because they had problems in communication, because there are three floors and nobody would be at their desk. Right. <laughs> so, and everybody was looking in the warehouse. So, we got walkie talkies. So, okay. So well, that's, that's a, a simple solution, right? Walkie talkie for... for uh, uh, a company, I think, is is actually faster to communicate. I used to work for IDEN in Motorola, so we had hundreds of no thousands of studies in that. And I don't know why people stopped using walkie-talkies in the last <laughs> last decade. I think it's it's so useful because so if useful. you're not if you're not on your phone, if you're not on your computer, and you have you have a lot of places to go within an office, and you have several floors, and you have to go up and down, you know, to look for stuff. It's handy. Yeah, it's handy. And one, one last thing is that we're, we're having, a skill, again, uh, some free uh, links to the audience, to your books, so you, they can download it. I think, do you have any hiring specific in any of the books? Yeah, so all, all the books, you know, there's one aspect here or there that does talk about that on how to hire, how to hire slow, not hire fast. And, you know, um, so book number six puts it all together. And in book number three also talks about, you know, the before, during and after unit. The during unit is how you train and retain your employees and the after unit is how you exit. So I have a whole structure, step by step, stage by stage and a soup to nuts, you know, turnkey situation, a whole program and a system for hiring that people can just plug and play and it will work all the time. All right, uh, Bimal. So it's always great, a pleasure to have you here in the incubator. 
Everybody got the links down below. One more thing is that we, I've seen your ads. It says Pioneers Club is is the same as Pioneers Academy, right? So, so it's so Pioneers Club. So anybody who who buys the book, you know, they get to join the Pioneers Club. And what we do, it's it's a it's it's a different than the Academy. Academy is where we meet. Uh, the club is, you know, if they want to just join by Zoom and we want to build a thirty day ad. So what okay. I want to do is I want to give back to anyone who's invested in the books or is buying the books or is in, you know, reading the books. You know, I will meet with them once. A month uh, you know and we'll, we'll build a 30-day action plan and this would be you connect with entrepreneurs and pioneers around the world because I have people who have bought books from you know australia new zealand africa you know england all those places so we just come one time if you want to come in and share and talk uh and, and we connect so that's a pioneers club you know okay okay well great great for your clarification all right that'll be more have a great afternoon thank you again for to showing us hiring and firing <laughs> And then hire slow, fire fast. I think that's the model, right? Right, right? Hire for attitude, train for skills, fire for example. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So stay with that and have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Everyone, have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.